Hi guys, I'm Teacher Reto and welcome to this part where we're going to see the review of Unit 3. So, let's start with some vocabulary. I need you to repeat after me. Okay, let's start. Skirt. Dress. Jeans. Pants. Gloss. Jacket. T-shirt. Sweater. Top. Button. Shoe. Uniform. Coat. Socks. Shoes. Scarf. Party. Then. Recently. Last. And with this word, we have some examples. Let's read. I saw my friend last night, last weekend, last month, last November, last year, last Monday, last spring, last summer, last fall, last autumn, last winter. I go. And here again we have some examples. I saw my friend 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, two days ago, a week ago, a few months ago, and the last one a year ago. So let's continue. Remember to repeat. Your need. And the last one, rich. Okay, guys, excellent. It's time for you to do some exercise. So take out your notebook and write a number of each exercise. And let's read. One, complete the sentences with the words in the box. And the words are dress, sneakers, Pants, clothes, jacket. Let's read. Number one, you wore it on top when school. Number two, this is a single piece of clothing that girls wear. It covers the upper body and the leg. Number three, you wear them on your feet for sports. Number four, a word for everything you wear. Number five, a long bottom. So here, you can pause the video and they play it again so we can check your answers. Okay, guys, it's time for check. Number one, you wear it on top when it's cold. And the answer is jacket. Number two, this is a single piece of clothing that the girls wear. It covers the upper body and the leg. Course is dress. Number three, you wear them on your feet for sport. Sneakers, that's right. Number four, a word for everything you wear. Clothes. And the last one, five, a long button. Pants, of course. We're going to continue with another exercise. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. The words are bought, gave, wore, uniform, recently. And let's read. One, my mom, it to me as present. 
number two. I eat on sale at the mall. Number three, he got it not long ago. Number four, Rob, cool t-shirt to the party. Number five, that scare is part of my school. Okay, guys, so it's time for you to stop again the video and answer the and answer. Finally, let's check your answers. Number one, my mom gave it to me as a present. Number two, I bought it on sale at the mall. Number three, he got it recently, not long ago. Number four, Rob wore a cool t-shirt to the party. And number five, that's care it's part of my school uniform. That's right, guys. Here we have a reading. So I want you to listen carefully. Let's start. Becky was visit was visiting Aunt Agatha at her house at the beach. It was a beautiful summer day. Becky had a bill had built the giant sand castle that morning, and Agatha took pictures of the castle to send Becky's parents. It was a great big sand castle. Later that morning, Becky and Aunt Agatha went swimming in the ocean. It was fun to jump with the waves. Then they went in the house and ate sandwiches and strawberries for lunch. Becky wanted to play on the beach that afternoon, and Agatha told her it was too hot to go outside without a hat on. Becky didn't have a hat, and Agatha told her not to worry. She could wear one of hers. Becky tried on four hats. The pink one was really pretty but it had a big bow in the back that was too long for Becky. The green hat was too fancy for Becky. She did not like that hat at all. The blue hat was nice, but it had an ugly bird on it. Then Becky saw a big brown hat with a yellow ribbon on it. That hat was made of straw. It was perfect hat for the beach. It was too big for Becky's head, but she didn't care. It was a great hat. So let's continue answering some questions about this reading. The instructions are choose the right answer. Let's read. Number one, where was Becky? A, at the store. B at the beach, C at school, D at home. Number two, who was Becky visiting? A, her grandparents, B, her friends, C, her sister, D, aunt Agatha. Number three, why didn't Becky like the blue hat? A, it was too fancy. B, it was new. C, it had an ugly bird on it. D. It was old. 4. Why didn't Becky want to wear the pink hat? A. The ball was too long. B. It had a flower. C. It had a bird on it. D. It was dirty. Number 5. Why did Aunt Agatha want Becky to wear a hat? A. It was raining. B. It was too hot. C. It was cold. D. It was snowing. C. And six. Why did Becky like the brown hat? A. It was ugly. B. It was perfect. C. It was too big. And D. It was cold. 
So it's time for you to pause the video and then play it again so we can check your answers. Okay, guys, let's check. Where was Becky? A at the store, B at the beach, C at school, D at home. And the answer is B at the beach. Number two, who was Becky visiting? A, her grandparents, B, her friends, C, her sister, D, her aunt Agatha. D, her aunt Agatha. Number three, why didn't Becky like the blue hat? A, it was too fancy. B, it was new. C, it had an ugly bird on it. D, it was old. And the answer is C, it had an ugly bird on it. Number four, why didn't Becky want to wear the pink hat? A, the bra was too long. B, it had flower. C, it had a bird on it. D, it was dirty. A, the bow was too long. Five, why did Aunt Agatha want Becky to wear a hat? A, it was raining. B, it was too hot. C, it was cold. D, it was snowing. And the answer is B, it was too hot. And finally, number six, why did Becky like the brown hat? A, it was ugly. B, it was perfect. C, it was too big, and D, it was cool. And the answer is B, it was perfect. Okay, guys, excellent. Let's continue. It's time to remember the grammar that we see in the unit three. It's past simple. We're going to see the structure again. For the affirmative form, we Use subject plus verb in past plus the complement. Remember, we have regular and irregular verb. So here we here we are some example. I played soccer two months ago. He ate pizza last week. For the negative form, we use the structure subject plus didn't, and the verb in the simple form, plus the complement. And here we have some examples. I didn't play soccer two months ago. He didn't eat pizza last week. Remember, we use the simple form because we use didn't. Let's continue. Here we have the structure for the yes or no question. The structure is did, the subject, and the verb in the simple form plus the complement. If your answer is positive, you say yes, I did. If it's negative, you answer no, I didn't. Another example is did he eat pizza? Yes, he did. Or not he didn't and here we have open questions here we use the questions word like what next we use the plus the subject and then the verb in the simple form so for example we have what did you play i played soccer in the answer you see i the subject played the verb in the simple past and soccer the complement another example is what did he eat he ate pizza let's continue here we have the time expressions. We use a go after a number and a time. For example, we have a week ago, 
10 minutes ago. Then we have last, that we use it before the time. Last week and last year, for example. Another one is yesterday, that we use it after, before, sorry, the time, yesterday morning. Let's continue. Here we have some exercises. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. The words are ago, last, last, yesterday, ago. Number one. My grandmother made this sweater for me two years. Number two. I bought that top. I bought that top year, but it's out of style now. Number three, this is the watch I bought. Number four, I got that jacket online month. Number five, I bought a sweater for my brother three weeks. It's time for you to pause the video and then play it again so we can check your answers. Okay guys, let's check it. Number one, my grandmother made this sweater for me two years ago. Number two, I bought that top last year, but it's out of style now. Number three, this is the watch I bought yesterday. Number four, I got that jacket online last month. And finally, number five, I bought a sweater for my brother three weeks ago. Let's continue. Number four, complete the sentences with the words in the box. Here we have, he bought them on a week ago on sale. No. I bought them a couple of months ago. Her aunt bought it for her in New York last month. Last year, I got this watch for my brother. Yes, I bought it last week. And the, and the questions that we are going to match are, are those new sneakers, Matt? I like your jacket, Laura. Did you get it recently? Kara wore an amazing dress to the party. Pete has new jeans. When did you get that watch, Sylvia? Okay, let's pause the video and then play it again so we can check your answer. Okay, let's check them. Number one, are those new sneakers, Matt? No, I bought them a couple of months ago. Number two, I like your jacket, Laura. Did you get it recently? Yes, I bought it last week. Number three, Kara wore an amazing dress to the party. And the answer is, her aunt bought it for her on New York last month. Number three, Pete has new jeans. And the answer is, he bought them a week ago on sale. And the last one, when did you get that watch, Sylvia? Last year, I got this watch for my brother. We're going to continue with the video. You need, it, you need to pay attention to it because we're going to do some exercises. Shoes are an important item of clothing. The kind of shoes you wear can sometimes show what you are like as a person. So many people choose very carefully. People first made shoes simply to keep their feet clean and safe. But now, shoes are a big part of fashion. 
and shoemaking is a big business that makes a lot of money. In the U.S., there are nearly 30,000 shoe stores which sell many different kinds of shoes, such as high heels, slippers, platform shoes, and sneakers. You can also find a specially designed shoe for every kind of sport such as soccer, mountain climbing, cycling, and golf. The sneaker is the world's most popular shoe. However, these days, 70% of people with sneakers wear them not for sports, but for fashion. Your shoes can be a great way to tell people more about you and your personality. So wherever you go, make sure you're walking in style. Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you pay attention well to the video because we're going to do some last exercises. The first one is Match the shoes to where women usually wear them. Number one, we have high heels. Number two, we have leapers. And number three, we have sneakers. And the answers that we're going to match are A, at home, B, to parties or special events, and C, to the gym. If you want, you can pause the video and then play it again so we can check your answers. Okay guys, it's time to check them. Number one, high heels with B, to parties or special events. Number two, women usually wear leapers at home. Number three, woman usually wear sneakers C to the gym. Okay guys, let's continue. For second exercise, complete the conversation using words from the book. These words are ago, just, last, and recently. Let's read the conversation. Amy, I like your shoes. Did you get them? Three. Yes, I bought them. Week. What about your shoes? Are they new? Amy. Yes, I bought them. I saw them a couple of months and started saving my money. Here you can pause the video and then play it again so we can check your answers. Okay, let's check. Amy, I like your shoes. Did you get them? Recently? Brie, yes, I bought them last week. What about your shoes? Are they new? Amy, yes, I just bought them. I saw them a couple of months ago and start saving my money okay guys let's continue this is the last exercise match the words to the phrases with similar meanings let's read one popular two fashion three personality four big business five specially designed and the possible similar meanings are A. Latest style B. Many people like them and C. Made for a certain use D. 
an important commercial activity. And last one, E, what you are like as a person. I want you to pause the video and do the exercise, then we can check your answers. Okay, guys, it's time to check. Number one, popular. B, many people like them. Two, fashion. A, latest style. Three, personality. With E, what you are like as a person. Four, big business. With D, an important commercial activity. Five, specially designed. Goes with C, made for a certain house. And we are at the final of our video. I hope you're doing well and, and understand the review of the unit three. See you later, guys.